All right, so real quickly, I want to take a look at grids. So we come to view, we come to um, show a document grid. All right, so this is a nice way also to work with a grid. Now, we also have these things. They're also in Illustrator, and they are smart guides. My smart guides are turned off. On, I just turned them off, but I can turn them on. Now, this is a story with uh, our smart guides. What's really great is they give us a lot of information about when we're lining different objects up. So I can come on in here and let's say I, you know, draw this shape right in here. I can see I get all the information about the size of it. I say, okay, I leave this, I deselect it. Let's say I'm coming in and I'm doing another shape right here. All right, so I get information about when it's aligning with the width and the height through that green arrow, which is really always very great. Uh, so we get a lot of info. The smart guides are great. As you move objects around your page, it gives you good info. All right, so even watch as I come down right into here. You know, it's actually telling me that it's right over there. Um, if I release, now watch as I bring it back up and it's lining up. We can see that the center points are beginning to line up perfectly. So there's just a quick overview of uh, grids and smart guides. Uh, there are also a lot of other features, just talk about them a little bit. Um, baseline grid uh, is much more the way notebook paper looks. And um, we can also snap to document grids, work with the guides, and I'll leave it there.